importance of logistics the formal study of business logistics and predecessor concepts such as traffic management and physical distribution has existed since the second half of the 20th century quite frankly from approximately 1950 to 1980 limited appreciation was shown for the importance of the logistics discipline since 1980 however Increasing recognition has been given to business logistics, in part because of tremendous and rapid changes in the discipline. Several key reasons for this are discussed next. A reduction in economic regulation. During the 1970s and 1980s, widespread reductions in economic regulation relaxed government control of carriers rates and fares, entry and exit, mergers and acquisitions, and more. These controls were particularly onerous in the U.S. transportation industry in the sense that price competition was essentially non-existent, and customers were pretty much forced to accept whatever service the carriers chose to provide. This meant that logistics managers had relatively little control over one of the most important cost components in a logistics system. Reductions in economic regulation in the U.S. air freight, railroad, and trucking industries allowed individual carriers flexibility in pricing and service. This flexibility was important to logistics for several reasons. First, it provided companies with the ability to implement the tailored logistics approach discussed earlier, in the sense that companies could specify different logistics service levels, and prices could be adjusted accordingly. Second, the increased pricing flexibility allowed large buyers of transportation services to reduce their transportation costs by leveraging large amounts of freight with a limited number of carriers. Although the preceding discussion has focused on lessened economic regulation in the United States, it appears that deregulation has had similar effects in other countries. For example, Lessened economic regulation of transportation among European countries has resulted in lower prices for truck shipments in these countries. Likewise, privatization of commercial airports has been found to improve their operational efficiency relative to government-owned and or government-operated airports. Changes in consumer behavior A common business adage suggests that change is the only constant. Although changes in consumer behavior are commonly the purview of the psychology and marketing disciplines, such changes have important logistical implications as well. Several examples of changes in consumer behavior and their possible logistical implications are discussed next. The customized customer signifies that the customer desires a product offering that is highly tailored to the customer's exact preferences. One approach for addressing the customized customer is through mass customization, which refers to the ability of a company to deliver highly customized products and services that are designed to meet the needs and wants of individual segments or customers. Going forward, mass customization is likely to be facilitated by advances in 3D printing, a process of making three-dimensional solid objects from a digitized file. 
Furthermore, the customized customer will not accept the one-size-fits-all approach, and this means that logistics systems must be flexible rather than rigid. As an example, logistics service providers such as FedEx and UPS offer a variety of delivery options to prospective customers, customers can choose same-day delivery, next-day delivery by noon, next-day delivery by the close of business, or second-day delivery by noon, among others. As a general rule, the earlier the delivery time, the more expensive the transportation cost. In terms of changing family roles, in the United States approximately 60% of families with children report that both parents work. One consequence of these dual-income families has been an increasing emphasis on the convenience associated with a family's grocery shopping experiences. This convenience is manifested in various ways to include extended store hours, home delivery of purchased items, and ready-to-eat, or ready-to-cook foods, and each of these has logistics-related implications. With extended store hours some stores are now open 24 hours retailers must address issues such as the optimal delivery times for replenishment trucks and when to replenish merchandise. For example, it wouldn't be a good idea for a 24-hour grocery store to replenish the shelves when its stores are crowded with customers. Although home delivery could be convenient for the purchaser, the time-sensitive nature of grocery products means that delivery should be made when the purchaser is at home. As such, scheduling home deliveries to coincide with the purchaser's availability is paramount to avoiding dissatisfied customers. Finally, the growth in ready-to-eat slash ready-to-cook foods means that some food processors have added high-volume cooking systems at their production facilities. From a logistics perspective, food processors continue to experiment with packaging alternatives that will extend the shelf life of ready-to-cook foods. For example, innovative vacuum packaging technology now allows for shelf lives of up to 45 days for chilled forms of microwavable foods. As for rising customer expectations, it should come as no surprise that customer expectations tend to increase over time, which means that a satisfactory level of performance in the past might not be considered so today. An excellent example of rising customer expectations is provided by Toyota Motor Company's North American Parts Operations. In an effort to retain customers and to reduce losing customers to other automotive repair facilities, Toyota now offers same-day delivery of automotive parts to certain Toyota dealerships located in major metropolitan areas. This same-day delivery has been facilitated by a redesign of Toyota's automotive parts distribution network. In a similar vein, online retailer Amazon now provides same-day delivery in a number of U.S. cities, and some of these cities also offer one-hour delivery service. Technological Advances Prior to the start of every academic year, Beloit College in Wisconsin releases its annual mindset list that details the worldview of incoming first-year college students. The class of 2019, which assumes a 1997 birth date, is particularly noteworthy because it has never lived in a world without access to Google. Tremendous technological advances during the course of your lifetime from desktop computers to tablets, from second-generation mobile phones to fourth-generation mobile phones have profoundly influenced business management and, by extension, business logistics. The following slide will discuss several examples of the logistical impacts of technological advances. Technological advances have influenced channel design by allowing companies to offer an alternate distribution channel to already existing channels. In some cases, this alternate channel is direct in nature because the final customer orders directly from the producer rather than through an intermediary. The removal of intermediaries between producer and consumer called disintermediation can clearly affect the design of logistics systems in the sense that there could be changes in both the number and location of fixed facilities such as warehouses and distribution centers. 
In addition, the logistical considerations of a retailer's online store are quite different from that retailer's bricks and mortar stores. Technological advances can also improve the productivity of the order picking process. Order picking traditionally involved paper pick tickets that listed the particular item and quantity to be picked and not necessarily the item's location in a facility. Locating the items to be picked could be quite time consuming, and paper picking often resulted in picking errors in part because of illegible pick orders. Today, by contrast, order picking can utilize radio frequency RF, devices, voice-directed picking, as well as robotic picking. Although these technological picking advances are more costly than paper picking, they can lead to substantial improvements in picking efficiency. For example, RF terminals can reduce pick errors by approximately 60% compared to paper picking. Shipment tracking provides another example of how technological advances have impacted logistics management. When one of the authors worked for a U.S. trucking company in the early 1980s, shipment tracking was a time-consuming, labor-intensive process that sometimes did not yield a location for the shipment in question. If we fast forward to today, global positioning systems can provide real-time location information about a shipment as well as information about the vehicle's temperature, humidity, and vibrations. Such information can be especially important to pharmaceutical and healthcare companies. Advances in Retailing Retailing in the second decade of the 21st century is noticeably different than at the beginning of the 21st century, and the differences exemplify the importance of effective and efficient logistics for retailing success. Consider for example, so-called big-box retailers stores with large amounts of both floor space and products for sale such as Walmart, Carrefour, and Dick's Sporting Goods. Many big-box retailers explicitly recognize superior logistics as an essential component of their corporate strategies, and because of this, their logistical practices are often viewed as a barometer for emerging logistics trends. Big-box retailers have also been trendsetters with respect to environmental and social issues in logistics. For example, two of Best Buy's sustainability goals for 2020 are to recycle 1 billion pounds of consumer goods and reduce its carbon footprint by 20%. Omnichannel retailing is a strategy that focuses on providing customers a seamless shopping experience regardless of sales channel. Retailers enable their customers to transact within and across any contract channel to enhance information availability and customer experience. Omnichannel retailing takes a number of different forms and if you have ordered something online and picked it up at a bricks and mortar store, then you have engaged in omnichannel retailing. What you might not have thought about in this situation is that the inventory used to fill your online order depletes that store's inventory, and thus inventory visibility and accurate demand forecasting become essential for successful omnichannel retailing. Globalization of trade Although countries have traded with each other for thousands of years, globalization's impact is greater today than ever before. Consider that world trade has grown at an average annual rate of approximately 5% since 1990, including the worldwide economic slowdown in 2008 and 2009. Looking forward, the annual growth in world trade between 2016 and 2020 is forecast to be between 3 and 4%. Many factors, such as rising standards of living and multi-country trade alliances, have contributed to the growth of global trade, logistics has played a key role, too. Indeed, the shipping container a uniform sealed reusable metal box in which goods are shipped is often championed as an important catalyst for the growth in global trade. The shipping container allows many different products to be securely transported long distances via water transportation important because long distance water transportation is much less expensive than long distance air transportation. 
We'll look at international logistics in much greater detail in other video, but for now one should recognize that the international logistics created by global trade is much more challenging and costly than domestic logistics. With respect to challenges, the geographic distances between buyers and sellers are often greater, and monitoring logistics processes is sometimes complicated by differences in business practices, culture, and language. As for costs, the greater geographic distances tend to result in higher transportation costs, and documentation requirements can be quite costly as well.